God sends Jeremiah into the temple, and you can read about his warning in the 19th chapter. Very strong message. Pasher was the governor. He slapped him in the face. Then he put them in stock. He put him in a torture rack. Now I want to tell you there's no man in the Bible more called than this man. I formed you in the belly. I knew you before you came out of the womb. I sanctified you. I ordained you to be a prophet to the nation. You shall go where I send you. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. He said, don't ever fear man. I am with you to deliver you. This is a man who knew he was called. Knew what his mission was. God said, gird up your loins. Rise up and speak everything I say to you. Be afraid of no man. Don't be impressed by their smiles. Don't be afraid of their frowns. It's an amazing call. Given one of the clearest calls in the Bible. God made him this promise. I have made you a defense city. Surrounded you with iron and brass wall. Made you impregnable city. Fear no man. Accept my call. Then these amazing words came. Lest I confound you before the people. Simply because he doubts that call. He said, I'm going to allow you to stand before the people and be confused. You will be confounded. Now this is an important word from the heart of God. This is what he's really saying to us. If you will trust me, you will never be confounded. He said, but if you will doubt that, I'll confound you. For men, I cannot tell you how important it is today to remember the call that God put on your heart. And if you doubt that call that God placed on you, that's why you find ministers running all over the world trying to confirm the call of God. One man met me backstage. He said, I, I had a church of 600. It's down to 400 people. Do you have a word for me? I said, yes. I said, you didn't have to go any further than the secret closet of the prayer. That's where the revival was. The word of God was. You're sitting in front of a television set because you feel like a failure. Get back on your knees. Forget the crowd minister to Jesus, you come to the pulpit with the word of God. Every hungry person with a hundred miles will come to hear you preach. First Timothy 1 Timothy 1.9 says, He has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. Paul the apostle said, I've been appointed to preach for which cause I suffer. He said, if you want to know why I suffer, because I was appointed, I was called, and I know my work. I am called to suffer. Do you understand that we have all received the same call? Do you understand why we suffer? Because God has laid his hand upon us. He said, I know in whom I have believed. I'm persuaded he's able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. Jeremiah reached a low point that night in torture. Now here's the man who's been so assured of himself. And now in his torture, listen to his words. Oh Lord, you have deceived me. I have been deceived. You're stronger than I am. And you've prevailed against me. You call me and allow me to be deceived and deluded. You call me, then you forsake me. And can you imagine what he's thinking? Because... This rack is at the temple gate and all the crowd that goes by. And he said, I've been mocked. The word I preach is being mocked. He said, I hate the day I was born. Lord, why didn't you kill me? Verse 9, then I said, I will not make mention of him. I will not speak his name anymore. What was he saying? I quit. It's enough. I'm tired of being mocked. There comes a time when you're in the rack. You're going through a time of torture. God called you as his hand upon you. But now you're in a hard situation. You wonder if you really count. And you say, that's enough. Your head is in the rack. Everything is twisted and turned. Say, where are you, God? You call me. I sacrifice for you. And I get nothing but pain. Let me tell you what the Holy Spirit told me. As if God is saying, oh, he's hurting. But he's still my man. Called him from the womb. I know his heart. Remember his call. And listen to what the prophet said. Then I said, I will not mention his name. But, a very important but. His word was in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones. The Holy Ghost came on him. Said, Jeremiah, remember, you're an impregnable city. Forget what people say. Remember your call. The word I promised you. Remember that I sent you. Pointed you. I told you there would be suffering, but let it burn. I will never quit because there's a fire burning in my bar. Because I am cold. And I don't care what you go through. You're going to stand up today. And you're going to say, I am cold.
going through a hard trial, but there is a fire burning in my bone. I can't stop. I must speak his word. He wants to bring healing, restoration to those that are under the rack of torture and pain. That God will renew you and stir up that fire. Some of you have been thinking, I've had enough. You want to take an easier path, but there's a fire. Let it burn. Let the Holy Ghost bring it back to your heart. My God, send the Holy Ghost now. Heal the hurt of every hurting person. Oh, fire of the Word of God, come and remind us. God, there's a wall of fire round about me. Lord, I trust you.